let's kind of start with introductions. Uh, my name is Steve Ramon. I know it sounds like two first names, but in my case, Ramon is my last name. I'm coming at you from beautiful Santa Maria, California, where it's a nice uh, balmy 60 degrees today with a nice little breeze coming in. So if you see me grab a jacket, sorry for those of you who live in hot, humid places. Uh, I am the uh, lead product training manager here at SafeSite. And the purpose of our webinar today is to get you up to speed on an up and coming new feature that several people have been waiting for, for for quite a bit. So first thing we're gonna talk about is just why we're here today. So we're here to talk about safety campaigns. Think of a safety campaign as a group of safety actions assigned to specific personnel on a set schedule. It's something that several of you have been talking about and one wanting already. What's the beauty of a safety campaign is we're gonna improve uh, accountability and engagement. Uh, my favorite term, specific is terrific. You'll actually be able to select specific templates for your meetings and inspections and assign those to people to be done within a particular time. So you can actually schedule for future dates. So a nice kind of set it, maybe set up a week, a month, a quarter at a time. We're gonna do our desktop walkthrough where we'll kind of touch on the basics. And then after we're done with our desktop walkthrough, we'll open it up for some uh, Q&A for some questions. And if everybody's feeling uh, good and comfortable with that, we'll wrap up. All in all, we should take about 20 to 30 minutes, give or take, depending on how many questions we have. So we really appreciate your uh, attention and time. Thank you for giving me that confirmation that everybody's settled in and ready to go. All right, great. And you should now see our project dashboard. I'm going to switch over to our, we should be good on this project. Yep, we should be good there. Made a special project just for everybody here. Um, we'll we'll kind of give you a view at a couple of different types of projects, but everybody should be very familiar with this screen. It's not anything that if you're an admin, you haven't seen before. So we've logged into obviously our desktop app. We've selected a project that we're going to create a campaign under. You'll notice over to my left under Safety HQ, uh, we have an actual section now that says campaigns. We are in our campaign editor screen. And if you wanted to begin creating a campaign, you'll see it over on the right. You have the ability to hit new campaign. I've been playing with this. So if you, as you can see, I actually have a campaign that I've already created. And we'll kind of review that here shortly as well. So let's go ahead and hit new campaign. Now, one of the nice things about this is uh, you can entitle your campaign any way you'd like. So if this is something that you're setting up for a particular group of people, maybe a particular time frame of the year, you can get as creative as you would like. We're gonna happen to, let's say, pick one for our weekly roofer meeting. We're going to move on next to actually schedule the campaign you'll see that your choices right now on frequency are to repeat this weekly or a one-off weekly is exactly what it sounds like it is a requirement that they complete this campaign on a weekly basis a one-off is exactly what it sounds like it's a one-time deal so we'll give you a little bit of insight into that i'm going to choose repeat weekly I have the ability to start this immediately, or I can customize my start date. So that's when you start to realize that you can actually set this up for future dating. And I can make this ongoing, or once again, I can customize and say that I only want this to last approximately for the next three months. I can then go to my safety actions, under safety actions. I can start to add what those required weekly actions might look like. So it may be one inspection, one meeting, and perhaps one observation. And when it comes to inspections and meetings, here's that specific is terrific tag. 
you can actually select that specific template that you want that individual to perform on that weekly basis. Just like it's always been in the past, you will see the Safe Site Library and of course the My Org Library. So you get to choose from what we have available to you or what we've previously loaded for you. So I actually kind of built one in here a little bit earlier, kind of just to keep it simple. And let's see if I can find that one now. There it is. Safety training completion inspection, beautiful. And then I believe I had another one over here under meeting. I think I called this one training as well. Training completion meeting, perfect. And I'm gonna go ahead and start assigning my personnel. Now, you've probably utilized uh, assigned personnel features before when you've done other sort of actions. And it sounds exactly the way it is. You have all the personnel that's part of this project already. And they're available here to you and I can go ahead and add them. If they're not available, it's because they're not part of that project. So you gotta add them to the project in order for you to add them to the campaign. Now it's that simple and that easy. Now all I have to do once I know I have my, uh, my uh, whole campaign completed, a title, I've got my uh, scheduling, I've got my actions, and I've got my personnel, I go ahead and hit set live and I'm live. Now for today's demo purposes, uh, we're gonna look to see if maybe we can show you one that I did earlier. Um, I'm gonna kind of walk you through this Summerfest. You notice that my Summerfest one has been paused. Yes, you do have the ability to pause these campaigns. You also have the ability to restore them. And just like anything else that you've probably dealt with in the past, when you archive something, you're actually getting rid of it. And so then at that point, if you need to restore it, you need to use the filter options. If you notice over here, filters will let you filter through what exactly you're looking for, right? Are you looking for something that's a draft, something that's active, paused, or if it's something that's been archived? So just kind of a little uh, pro tip there to make sure that you're able to find those if you ever do hit that archive button. So we're set. We're now been able to go to uh, our particular one that we had as an ongoing. And this particular one, I'm gonna uh, click on it, kind of go back and revisit this campaign that, that I created for Summerfest, look at what my scheduling was what my safety actions were in this one, it was a heat illness pre prevention inspection and indoor heat illness meeting. And again, I assigned that personnel to it. So this is how you would go back, edit, and, uh, and, and perhaps you want to update something that you've already created, you can do that as well. So let's take a look to see if we're able to uh, bring up these particular ones. Let me come over to my handset. Let me do a refresh. And there they are. So here's the beautiful thing about this assignment, right? Your person in the field, your mobile user, they're not going to see any huge difference in what they've always experienced. They're going to see the same actions that they've been assigned all along. But this time, they don't get to choose what that inspection is. Uh, they don't get to choose what that meeting is. It's already been pre-selected for them. So it's really nice because that's what people who have been asking for. Uh, you have now have the power, the ability to schedule all that, make it simple, make it easy, and try to get the people on track. And you don't have to really you know, run into that obstacle anymore of, well, you know, there's so many there. I don't know what's for me. I can't really figure it out. No, it's, you're already taking away that obstacle. It's made really simple, easy uh, for everyone involved. So you've gotten the basics. Uh, we've kind of given you the insight on how easy it is to assign personnel. I'm going to kind of bring this now to a little bit bigger example. That was kind of the small one to try to simplify it for you. 
Here's a larger set of campaigns, a little bit bigger project. And as you can see, we've just got all types of campaigns that we've been setting up, working on, even uh, created a, a campaign specifically in another language, because maybe I have a group of individuals who are uh, wanting to do that in a particular language. So now that I have all of those options laid out there, I can go back again, edit any of them, take a look at them and be able to change a title, change a campaign, change an action, change the personnel that's assigned to it. It's me managing those actions because they're already built, they're already simplified, they're already ready to go. So I'm gonna pause here momentarily. And I am going to run over to our chat. This is your opportunity to basically come on, say, hey, Steve, I'd like to see that action one more time, whether it's uh, creating a brand new campaign, editing an existing one, adding personnel. So if you want to go ahead and drop, drop that into the chat at this moment, it's your opportunity to do that now. And if we really, really, you really have something that you say, you know what, Steve, I'd really like to be able to ask you the question. I'm not good at, good at chat. Go ahead and raise your hand and I'll be happy to work with you on there as well. So we want to open that opportunity for you. Raised hand or drop your question into the chat for me. All right. I like this group pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're not trying to make things super complicated for anybody, but we do want to give you an opportunity to ask any questions that you may have. I do have some other insights for you, um, things that as the ball is already uh, rolling through and you're thinking about, you, you may want to know. All right, we've got a couple of them. See, Adam asks, uh, can items be set to monthly or only weekly? And Jared says, I miss a start and would like to see the campaign creation again. We can, Jared, not a problem. We got time for it to do that. And uh, Brennan, how does this affect the overall dashboard of the project? Does it show anything on that? Great, I'm glad, yeah. So I got a couple of things I can share on that. And yes, I will do that, come back and revisit that. Give me one second here, here we go. So let's touch on again, what your mobile user is going to see and i'm going to revisit everybody's uh, questions let me go back and share our screen once again all right perfect screen is back up excellent so again uh for those of you who just chimed in you missed the first part safety hq it's always been there you now see an option that says campaigns once you're at that campaign screen New campaign is where you start that campaign. Give yourself a title. Give yourself a repeat weekly, especially those folks who have a weekly requ requirement that impacts your safe site score. It's important to use the repeat weekly feature. Customize your uh, start time. Let's say your winter starts in December. You can make it ongoing or you can customize your end time. Sorry for those of you who have long winters. And yeah, let's, let's say March, I'll give you an early winter. And then go ahead and customize those safety actions. So once again, uh, an inspection, a uh, meeting perhaps, an observation. Usually those of you who have those types of requirements, they're coming in those three factors. Maybe some of you require other things of your employees. I've had other individuals say that they require uh, one inspection every single day. Fantastic. Uh, when you go there, increase that count to five. Uh, this is a frequency of weekly, therefore five inspections. That would mean they'd need to do one a day within that week, right? Uh, they could do all five in one single day but and still complete the week, but you get the idea. Uh, and then here's where you select that template. So they go in, 
They do the search for their template. You do the search for your template. And now I have that template set. Maybe I do a meeting on a similar subject. Oh, let me switch back over to my safe site category library. There we go. And I got a correlating toolbox talk and I have an observation. And then I start to add that personnel. Now, again, just like we've talked about, here's all the personnel that's available to me. So I'm going in and picking these individuals. I'm saying, I want this individual. Let's see, I want this individual, I want this individual. I'm adding all of these folks to the list of who I want to do these action items. I hit add, they're all on there now. And then I go ahead and hit schedule. And so now that is scheduled, it's set, it's ready to go. And when we hit that time frame, these individuals are going to see that come December 1st time frame. All right, let's head back over to that chat. I think we had a couple of uh, different things that people wanted to see. Let's see, can items be set to monthly or only weekly? So great question. I had a follow up for you on that. We have uh, in our already heard that feedback. So that is next. Uh, in the roadmap, looking at daily, monthly campaign frequency. Not here today, but looking for it in the future. Let's see, and I believe we had one more. Okay, Jared, I think we took care of you. Let's see, Brennan, how does this affect the overall dashboard of the project? Does it show anything on that? Great, I had a follow-up on that for you as well. Thank you for that question. Uh, campaign analytics, uh, we're looking to make those even better. So we're looking to create a campaign completion tracking, which personnel did what, which personnel did not complete it. We're not there yet, but we are looking to add that. Uh, it's on the roadmap. And I will add one more to that. Um, some folks have been looking, you know, as I create this campaign, do I have to keep on making it? Wouldn't it be nice to have a little copy button? Yes, it would be nice to do that. So we are looking to uh, be able to create that as well. Um, create a campaign as a template, be able to just hit that copy button and keep on making that. Okay, got a couple more. Hey there, Corey. We might have you be able to come off of mute if you'd like. I'll, I'll check here shortly if you want to. All right, great question, James. Thank you for that. Uh, meeting events, can you allow for links to other outside mm -hmm. sources? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, Cor, great. welcome. We're just going down the list here now. Uh, let's see, James, meeting events, can you allow for links to other outside sources? So great question, James. Yep. And I played with that the other day. And so that is actually a function of your template. Um, if you'd like some more information on that, I can actually send you a link to our help center library that talks about adding those links when people answer a question a particular and way. And we do not have that for meetings as of yet. This is Corey here. I think I put that in the chat. Um, you're so. right. Inspections, you could add hyperlinks. Meetings, we have not done, but we're planning to do that pretty shortly. Um, and then with regards to the roadmap, there is one other thing we're actually currently working on now. Um, which is rotational templates, which means I could set a weekly campaign, let's say for the next eight weeks or 12 weeks for a quarter, and I can actually change each template each week. So it's not the same template. Template will actually rotate every week as, I, as I'd like. So we know that safety programs can be quite dynamic and you want people to do different things, maybe a different toolbox talk every week. Um, so we're adding that feature actually currently hoping to have that live in about four to five weeks. So stay tuned for that as well. And then like Steven said, daily and monthly, 100% makes sense. Um, and then with regards to analytics, analytics will look, look exactly the same as they do now in terms of action analytics. You can see the weekly summary still. You'll see the leaderboard still. You'll see the report still, who's doing what, which is, you know, action analytics. But we are working on and you guys will definitely be getting emails for feedback, um, but we're going to be working on a way that you can get campaign analytics too of like, you know, the overall completion of the entire campaign, 
um, and just more fidelity around that. So definitely workshopping that as well. Good question. All right, thank you. Appreciate it, Corey. See, I think I got a few more. Uh, looks like I got Brennan. Uh, do the campaign actions override the normal required actions or vice versa? Great question. Thank you for that, uh, Brennan. So yes, weekly actions. You're not going to see that anymore. Campaigns is taking the place of weekly actions. Whatever your requirement is, that stays in place. And so once weekly actions is gone and you only see campaigns, you're going to see a campaign there that has weekly actions, but it's not going to have any assignments on it today. So it'll be, yes, I have this weekly action required of me, but they'd still have to go in and select which meeting, which inspection template they're going to use. And yes, it's going to fulfill that weekly action requirement. Uh, Brendan, please let me know if that answers your question. Yeah, and then, so I see Jared's question too, which is very similar to Brennan's, just around like, what will you see, when to expect it? Um, so next Monday, everyone will, will see campaigns. Um, we're not just deleting your actions. Users won't see, you know, no more actions. So what we're doing is we're to migrate automatically. You guys won't have to do anything. We're going to migrate all your current weekly actions into campaigns based on the types. So for example, if you had if you had personnel on a project required two weekly inspections, you'll see a new campaign that'll be titled two weekly inspections. And on the user's end, the users won't see any difference at all. They should see the same amount of actions, same amount of meetings, same amount of inspections, but on your end, you'll no longer see weekly inspections, sorry, weekly actions as of Monday. You'll see campaigns. Um, and there is a nuance there, which I'm going to email everyone just to reiterate on Monday that all of those campaigns will be set to scheduled because your existing weekly actions for next week will have already been generated. So we didn't want to create duplicates. So what we're going to do is let those weekly actions next week on the mobile devices go as normal, expire. And we're going to schedule your new campaigns to basically go live the following Monday, October 2nd, when those existing actions expire. So that, again, the reason we're doing that is to make sure on the mobile side, which is, of course, important for your field personnel, to not see any difference, not see any difference at all, no change. So that is how it's going to be. So on Monday, when you see campaigns and if you see scheduled, that is completely normal. What that means is on October 2nd, they will go active and the weekly actions will be done. Um, I think that should answer that question and yeah there's no additional cost so so jared no additional cost at all this comes with the service again it's just replacing weekly actions we just we needed a more dynamic thing besides just weekly so this campaigns we want is a good segue into daily into monthly into every tuesday very custom maybe a calendar one day so we really want to allow this more dynamic setting of actions via this vehicle of campaigns Again, thank you, Corey. And I did see one other question. Adam, we did not forget about you. Your question is, can this be set up to link an inspection directly to a specific piece of equipment? So I'll, I'll kind of lead that with another question, right, Adam? If you currently have an inspection, custom template inspection made for that piece of equipment, uh, maybe you've even created a project for your equipment then yes, that's what I would do. Project for that for the, that equipment, campaign with that specific template for that piece of equipment and set up that frequency. And then yes, you could tie it to that. And if you need some more insights into that, please don't hesitate to reach out. Be happy to help you with that. But that's that's the direction that, that you're looking for. Please let me know if that answers your question. Well, folks, you have been a lively bunch. You've done a fantastic job. And, and Corey, thanks for the insight. And Crystal, thank you for the backup. Uh, I kind of want to uh, leave you with this. Let me put this up for you all. As always, your customer experience team is going to be here to assist, answer any questions. You know, please don't hesitate to reach out uh, to us. So, as you know, on desktop, we have our desktop chat. On the mobile devices, we have the support buttons. You can reach out to us at success at safesitehq.com. 
Um, questions are going to come up, but we do appreciate the fact that you came to this webinar and we're able to, you know, at least get a preview of what to expect, get a few questions answered, and, and hopefully you now have a better idea of how you're going to utilize this. Um, and as you've heard from Corey directly, we've got plenty of different things on the roadmap of what we're going to be building out. So your mobile users are going to see the exact same thing, same weekly actions they had before. We're going to migrate those into campaigns. First week, they will be scheduled to start the following week since the previous weekly actions, as Corey just mentioned, are going to time out and then you'll see these campaigns that take over. And for rotating templates, things, that's something that we're working on now. And I'm sure you're gonna be giving us more input into other things that you'd like to see or do. Please reach out to us, don't hesitate to do that. Well, folks, we've come to kind of a point where if you uh, have additional questions and want to hit us up some more in, uh, in the chat, uh, you want to see something else that you may have missed, I'm happy to do that. I've got another 15 minutes scheduled to be here for any of that. Otherwise, if you've got everything you need for, from us, uh, have a great rest of your day and thank you for being here today. Hey there, uh, Brennan. It looks like you wanted to see starting a campaign for a meeting that would be due by a certain date. Yeah, be happy to help you with that. Uh, give me one second, let me bring that up for you. All right, Brennan, so we're gonna go ahead and head over to Safe Site, Safety HQ, tap on campaigns. We're gonna go ahead and create a brand new campaign. Uh, we're going to say that this one is a weekly vehicle inspection. We're going to say that we want this to repeat uh, weekly. When you were looking uh, for, let's see, toolbox talk due by every month by the 15th. Okay. So uh, right now it's not monthly, it's weekly. So I want, I want to make sure that you and I are speaking the same language. Not monthly today, it's, it's weekly. So you might, in your case, uh, Brennan, if you are not concerned with the safe site score because you don't have a requirement, you could call that a one-off. Yep, very good, one-off. And you could customize that and you can say that you want that on the 15th and you could probably hit back over here. You could start it today, I guess, if you were giving them a heads up and you can say that it needed to be done by the 15th. And uh, let me go back, sorry about that. Two days date, okay. And you could maybe give them the day after, let's say, and hit that meeting that you're looking for. Because if I understood you, it was a meeting that you were looking for. Select, pre-select that template that you're looking for them to uh, perform, whatever that might be. I believe there's one. Let me see if I can find that. I'm going to use this one right here and then assign that personnel. And let me see if I can find myself, there I am. Uh, and add that. I'm gonna go ahead and set that live. So I should have that one specific one off. Um, that's gonna be that toolbox talk, but because I don't have monthly yet, I had to set it up for that specific time frame as a one off. Eventually, when we get monthly, you'll be able to do it monthly. So please let me know if that answers your question. And I should be able to come over here, uh, update my refresh, and let's see if I got it. Yeah, there it is. And you'll notice right there, it says I have 25 days left to complete it because it's a monthly. 
and we set it up as a one-off. Please let me know if that works for you, Brendan. Ah, great question. So one-offs are a positive because you're doing something safety related, but they do not go towards your weekly requirement because you did not choose weekly, you chose one-off. So I hope that answers your question. It's a positive action, but it doesn't supply. Yeah, very good, very good. Doesn't fulfill that weekly action. Excellent. Yeah, thank you for that. Great question. Great question. All right, we just got a few more people on the line. Brennan, James, Molly, what else can I answer for you? You got me here. We got another five minutes. Happy to dedicate anything else that you might have and, or anything you may want to know. And by the way, you guys are asking great questions. This is exactly what we're looking for. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Well, folks, I'm going to be sitting here. I'm going to be watching the chat. Uh, anything comes up, anything else that you're kind of thinking about, looking for the answer for, if we can try to answer for it, we will. If not, have a great rest of your afternoon. It was a, a pleasure being able to work with you guys and give you guys some insight into this information. Uh, I'll be sitting here for a little bit while, a little bit more. Anything comes up, don't hesitate to reach out. We'll see you here in just a bit. Hey there, James. That's a great question. Pause this real quick. So if I understood you correctly, you're asking if we can set the campaign up by a group or only by project. So currently, uh, that is only by campaign. Uh, they are looking into uh, that change of going with something like a group, but currently it is only campaigns. Thank you for that. In turn, yeah, in turn, a couple of people wanted or were wondering what happens if somebody goes uh, on vacation? You know, how do I pause, uh, you know, that individual's actions? Well, remove them from the campaign and then add them back. Uh, we're looking at a pause button in the future for that particular case. Oh, great question, Brennan. So it is a one-off. Um, so at that point, I, I, if I've had a couple of them so far, let me see if I can bring that up on my screen and show you that. Um, what And it doesn't necessarily go dormant either. Um, there is... See, there's an edit, there's a pause in their archive. And from my understanding is you see all of these that are marked active, active, active. This one is marked uh, scheduled. But let me go in here and grab one of these and put that uh, kind of date on it. Yeah, you see how this is ongoing and this is custom. I'm going to put an end date of, of yesterday. Let's see what that does. Because I seem to remember seeing that. Yeah, I, I, I seem to remember seeing it really didn't remove it or change it. Um, I was looking for a change in, you know, the title there where it goes from active to maybe, you know, expired but I haven't seen that particular one. And you see this status filter over here. Um, you see how you got draft, not started, active, pause. Oh, there's a completed. Oh, there it is, completed. Hey, answered it for us. Thank you for that. Completed. So if it's done, I don't necessarily think it means that they did the action, I think it just means that the campaign is completed because you had an end date. So you'll get it completed, but I believe the status completed makes reference to the campaign reaching its end date, not that they actually did the action. All right, folks. Well, once again, pleasure working with you guys. We're going to go ahead and, uh, and shut it down. Appreciate you being here. Appreciate we, all your feedback. Look forward to hearing from you if you need to reach out to us via chat. Have a great rest of your day. And Crystal, once again, thank you for your help. Today.